Hello and welcome to the Beauty Saga. I'm Parisa Saga and today's video is all about the hard candy, glamophage, mix in drops, turn me bronze. These drops are super dear to my heart. The first video I ever did here on YouTube was a review of the mix in pigment drops. So when I saw that hard candy had put out new mix in things, I had to have them. I had to review them for my channel. It's just, it was non-negotiable. It has to happen. It's like a legacy thing or something. <laughs> but anyway, um, the radiant drops are already up on my channel. I'll link the review video to this bad boy down below for you. Turn Me Matte is coming up next, and I have a review of the new Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Contouring product, which I will be comparing to the Turn Me Bronze. So if you are a lover of all things bronzer, or you want to see the video for the Turn Me Matte drops, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on those future videos. If you want to see my demo footage, I mix this with moisturizer, BB cream, foundation, all of it, I use it on its own to contour. So if you want to see all that test footage and you want to hear my overall review of these Turn Me Bronze drops, just please keep watching. Okay, the Hard Candy Glamouflage Mix In Drops Turn Me Bronze. Add drops to transform for an instant glow. Add and mix one to two drops to your moisturizer or foundation and blend effortlessly. It says, bronze mix-in drops, a universal liquid bronzer that can be added to your moisturizer or foundation for an all over healthy looking glow. The sheer and lightweight formula can also be used alone to contour and add color to the cheeks. These drops from Hard Candy are exclusive to Walmart, like all Hard Candy products are. They retail for $7 there, and you get 0.5 ounces of product. Without too much yapping, I'm gonna just jump right into the test footage so you can see how these drops work under all different circumstances with different amounts and different things, and I'll meet you back here right after. All right, so this is the bronze mix-in drops. A universal liquid bronzer that can be added to your moisturizer or foundation for an all over healthy looking glow. The sheer and lightweight formula can also be used alone to contour or add color to cheeks. Ooh, that's a lot of claims, let's find out. <laughs> so for some First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake it up and I'm gonna add it to some moisturizer and see what our face ends up looking like. I'm just gonna use my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Cream. Put a little bit here on the back of my hand and I'm gonna mix in. Ooh, this is a gloopy mess. This is the same thing that happened with these radiant drops. They are really like gloopy and like chunky and like separated. They came this way too, they're like brand new. We're getting some drops happening, so. Okay, I added two drops in. Blend. It seems to blend in really nicely. A little hard to tell, but it doesn't look too orangey. The liquid itself is like jam-packed with gold glitter. I will do a swatch here in just a second for you so you can actually see it. It definitely added some color into the face, but in terms of a finish, this, I wouldn't really be comfortable wearing this out in public because it's so like, so dewy, I just look like I'm sweating. Let me get a swatch of what this actually looks like because it is like so glittery and then it's saying you can use it to contour? I don't know. Is the liquid 
and I'm not sure if you can see, but it is like a gold glitter, like, bomb went off. So, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it with some BB cream. This is the Garnier Oily Skin BB cream. And I'm going to see if I like that a little bit better than just with moisturizer alone here. It blends in pretty nice with the BB cream. I don't really see any like lines, but I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> pounce over it with my dampened beauty sponge. It added like a touch of glow to the skin, which I don't hate. And it definitely deepened the color too, but like it's not too orange. I'm really pale right now, but it's actually not too orange, which is always like, you see liquid bronzer and you're like, yeah, that's going to be an orange nightmare. I'm going to end up looking like an Oompa Loompa. But, um, this does in fact not look too orange, which is nice. It just gave it like, just an oomph of like sun-kissed goodness. I only put two drops in with the BB cream, so not a lot. And it just, uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a healthy bronze. I don't hate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all this off and we're gonna test it with foundation and see what happens. But I like how it made the BB cream look, which as we move into summer, BB creams are kind of what I'm always reaching for. So I like that it, it mixed in nicely. Just sort of made it look dewy and healthy. Because, you know, that's what we're going to all want to be wearing this summer, right? So, restarting my skin with some micellar water. The perfect back to zero base here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and prime with my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear my L'Oreal True Match on this side, and then I'm going to combine the L'Oreal True Match with some hard candy drops on this side. So we have something to compare. So I'm going to go ahead and add the exact same amount of the True Match. And I'm going to add just a drop of the bronzer and see. Okay, it's pouring really fast. It might end up being two drops. Okay, two drops of the bronzer in. And we're going to see. I'm blending it together and it's blending nicely. I let that set. Adding the bronzer did not change the coverage, which is really awesome. It definitely, this is just the side of the just the true match. And then this is the side with the true match and two bronzing drops in it. And it definitely makes the finish more dewy. And there's the slightest bit of color difference. Not really noticeable, but not orange. So these are definitely kind of like a radiance drop. They're not gonna dramatically change the color of your foundation unless you add like a ton of them in. But it's not orangey which I love. Okay, this thing claims that you can contour with it and bronze up the skin if you use it alone. So let's get a couple drops on the back of the hand. And with my finger, I'm just going to like blend to make sure none of it is chunky <laughs> because, um, because it's like so chunky in the container. Um, some of it kind of to work it out with your finger, which is not something I love about this product. I'm going to go ahead and use a small stippling brush. This is the e.l.f. small stipple brush. And, uh, let's see what we can contour. Okay, hey. Um, it's a bit 
warmer tone than I like, but like, this is definitely bronzing. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. I, I hate to say that I didn't think that was gonna work. Um, Cause that just makes me sound like, you know, I'm a pessimist or something, but I guess, I guess what I'm trying to get at is I didn't think it was gonna work that well. Dang! Look at that! Bronzing! Wow. Oh my stars. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And it really blended in like nice and seamlessly and there's no patches. Um, very dewy bronze. This is gonna be a good product for summer. Okay, so with just moisturizer, these drops made my skin really glowy, almost like they're like a gold liquid highlighter. They were honestly too glowy for me to feel comfortable to go out in public like that. I felt like I just sort of looked kind of sweaty and Makeup is really personal and what everyone prefers is super personal. So that's just my feeling on it. I felt that I looked too sweaty. But that doesn't mean that a drop of this mixed in with moisturizer isn't exactly the look you're looking for. It did add like a nice touch of like bronzy color to my skin. So that aspect of it, I really did enjoy. Mixed in with BB cream, it gave a really like healthy looking wearable glow and it deepened the color just a, just a touch um, and it doesn't change the coverage so I love mixing these in with BB cream. Moving into summer as you know the inevitable my body doesn't match my face tan starts to happen having these to deepen up the color just a little bit and make you seem like you're a sun-kissed bronze goddess beautiful whatever um you know that's appealing. With foundation, it also adds like a nice glow, like it's a very dewy finish to the foundation. Again, it adds just a touch of color, but it does not change the coverage. So if you're like me and you are a coverage or dye type of girl, this does not change the coverage. Which is so important when you have like acne scars or like I have deep under eye circles too and it's just, coverage is just, it's non-negotiable. Just don't go there with me. Anyway, ha! The, these bronzer drops, they don't change the coverage, and so they get an A-plus in that category for me. As contour, can we just say that I was, like, really shocked with these bad boys? Like, they... I did not think it was gonna work and, like, look as nice on the skin as it did, and I think it's awesome when I just use a stippling brush and kind of blend it out. It blended really nicely, and I loved the way it looked. I actually used these drops again to bronze with in one of my recent Get Ready With Me, my Valentine's Day look, so I'll link that video down below if you want to see that, but, like, I've been using it, I've been using it to bronze up the skin, and I love it. Okay, so let's talk about, let's talk about the cons, okay? There's one that's like blaring from the test footage that I haven't touched on yet, and it's that no matter how hard you shake these, no matter how hard you shake them, you cannot get them to mix back together. The bronze pigment and the like clear, gross, watery liquid don't want to like blend back together. I don't know why these separated. They're, they're brand new. Now, if you watch my review on the Radiance drops, you know that these also do that. The bronzer drops are not as bad as the Radiant drops. Meaning you can sort of get these a little bit less chunky and a little bit more blended, but look at how runny that is. Man, you can't control how many drops you're getting out at all. Another potential con to this product for some people is that it does add glow, not just color. Um, 
I mean, they do kind of warn you on the front saying it transforms for an instant glow, but if you were looking for something to just bronze up your foundations, this is also going to give them a dewy finish. So that could be a con depending on what you're looking for. Let's talk pros. It is not too orange. Can I get a hallelujah on that? It's not too orange. It's, it's an actual beautiful bronze color. Unlike the Radiance drops, these bronzer drops actually do mix into the product really easily. So you can get it to blend with foundations and BB creams. This one, like the chunks just like stay chunky, but the bronzer drops are much easier to actually work into products. There's absolutely no loss of coverage when you mix these in. And a pro, or something that could be a pro, is that it also adds glow while adding color. So if you were looking for something that would give you a dewy yet bronzed finish, this is it. So again, that's just a preference. It could be a pro or it could be a con, depending on what you wanted out of this product. Another serious pro is that it can be used alone and it blends beautiful as a bronzer with a stippling brush. The sort of final question I always ask myself is, will I repurchase? Am I interested in repurchasing this product? Is it worth $7 to me? Do I feel like I'm gonna use it up and want it again? That's always like the test of a product for me. With the Radiant Drops, I'm way more on the fence. The Bronzer Drops though, I'm pretty sure even though they're chunky and even though you have to shake the bejesus out of them and they still don't end up perfectly blended, I just love using these as bronzer. I love the way they look on the skin and they're, the end product is worth the struggle of getting the drops to work. I hope that makes sense. So it's really like a personal thing, like it's all about what you want out of these drops and how willing you are to work with them. And I know some people are going to be like, no, if I'm paying $7 for a half an ounce of bronzing drops, they better just like work and not have serious problems. And like, that's legitimate. So basically I'm saying make the call for yourself, but for me, they're worth it. I really hope that you found the demo footage and my review helpful. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave those down below for me and I will be sure to get back to you. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Snapchat, and I have a Facebook page. It's at The Beauty Saga for all social media. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really hope I'm gonna see you on my next video.